Our coverage continues of the deadly shooting at a Matthews High School today. We've heard from a lot of people over the course of the day, and tonight we sat down with a senior and a freshman at Butler High. One had a class with the shooter. The other had a class with the victim. I walked in the door, and about two minutes later, we heard a loud, a loud popping sound, and we turned around to see a fight. So we stuck around to f see the fight, and uh, the shooter just backed up and pulled out a handgun. And once we seen the handgun, we just ran. Everyone's just freaking out. There's like, oh yeah, there's someone in the hallways with a gun, and everyone's running down the hallways, and they just tell us to get in the classroom, close all the doors, and they're in full lockdown mode. Seeing fights in the school's hallways, is that something normal that you see often? Yeah, it, it usually happens at least once a week. What did you think when you saw this student pull out a handgun? I just thought to run, because, I mean, a handgun, he could have pointed at any of us. Whether it was who he wanted it to be or anybody, he could have just turned and shot at anybody, so. You know, I was sitting in the closet not knowing exactly what was going on, so I was, you know, kind of scared and confused because you know, what if this guy came down to our hall, or what if anything could have happened? Look, I'm gonna start crying, because I'm a, you know, as a parent, you just, and I have little babies at home, so imagining someone taking away your child is like the worst fear mm -hmm. you could have. So what was that like when you got that text? There was nothing I could do but sit there and keep texting and hoping that I could hear what was going on and he was like I was right there I seen it I know what's going on and I'm like oh my god the police was there in less than two minutes so I felt not as scared whenever they got there you know some of the parents I knew were angry but they were reacting in a way I felt they were just making the situation worse reacting out of fear I'm yes asking. talk to me about the aftermath of all of this together we can be strong and I think that's where the strength is in you know, relying on each other, just counting on each other. Mm -hmm. And I think uh, something like this just wakes us up again to be more aware. It, keep your eyes and ears open. Mm -hmm. Yep. And while the families we talked to agreed things did not go perfectly today, both the parents and kids are confident in their school and their teachers. Yeah, and an interesting note to uh, make the senior and, and freshman who had never met before tonight shook hands. The senior told him, don't let this ruin high school for you. It's not all bad. Really special yeah. there. Tonight we also sat down with Dr. Derwin Gray, the lead pastor at Transformation Church. Here's what he had to say in the midst of this tragedy. They're shooting after shooting. What would you say to people who question, okay, well, why do bad things happen? Because you hear that a lot from yeah. people. You know, sometimes we just may never know the answer. Um, but I do know this, if God doesn't give us freedom, then we don't actually have the freedom to love. And when we say, God, where are you? I often think he looks back at us and says, where are you? We can't walk and we can't live in fear. Uh, how do we live in love? So if you want to watch that entire interview with Pastor Derwin, you can visit our website, WCNC.com.